How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today, real quick video, short and sweet. How do you remove, install, or swap out a charging handle on an AR style, this is an AR-15, uh, on an AR rifle? A lot of people are able to get the charging handle out just fine, um, but then they have trouble getting it back in. A couple little tricks you need to know if you've never done it before to get your charging handle and bolt carrier back into the upper receiver. Uh, so let's go. For starters, it's a heck of a lot easier if the upper is just detached from the lower, or at the very least, the rear takedown pin is pulled out and the upper is able to then just hinge off the lower. In fact, that's necessary <laughs> in order to take the charging handle out. It comes out of the back of the upper receiver. Um, so yeah, just having, just having the upper receiver off and by itself is the easiest way to go about this. Also having it laid upside down like this that's how I like to do it. Um, that's easiest in my mind. This blue piece here, this is the bolt carrier. Um, and then here's the charging handle. You can see the latch. All you do to remove the charging handle, pull back on the latch and pull the charging handle out the back of the rear of this upper receiver. Now it pulls the bolt carrier with it. Um, so when you get the latch about pulled halfway back, about three, four inches, you can go ahead, pull the bolt carrier out first and then pull the charging handle all the way back. I'm going to have to show you inside of here. There's little wings. See these wings on the charging handle on the side of the channel? Um, these wings fit perfectly into these grooves right here. Those wings fit perfectly into there. That has to be lined up in order for this to come out. And then it just pulls out the back of the upper receiver. Bam, there you have it. Now, I'm gonna just use this same charging handle, but whatever, whatever charging handle you're replacing it with, slide the charging handle right into the back of the upper receiver again, making sure those wings line right up with those grooves in the upper receiver. Sometimes sliding the charging handle back and forth a little bit helps you find those grooves. Once you've got it in those grooves and the charging handle is in fact in that channel, that channel here at the bottom of this upper receiver. It's actually the top of the upper receiver, but holding it upside down. Now your charging handle's in there. Slide the charging handle like about halfway in. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I've got it about halfway in, that's fine. I mean, anywhere kind of in this range. Uh, that's because you need to <laughs> reinstall the bolt carrier. This is where beginners, uh, first time doing this, this is where it can mess you up. Uh, this stuff just won't go back together if your bolt is pushed into the carrier. Um, this cam pin that holds the bolt into the carrier, that, if your bolt's pushed back, this cam pin's protruding out off to the side of the carrier. That won't allow you to enter the upper receiver. You gotta pull the bolt out. A lot of people like to just flick of the wrist. Make sure the bolt's all the way out. Notice how the cam pin slides up underneath the gas key on the carrier. Now, your BCG, your bolt carrier group, will slide right into the upper receiver. Easy as pie. Push the bolt carrier all the way in. Make sure also push onto your charging handle. See that, how it wasn't latched? Um, just to make sure everything's latched, everything's in place where it's supposed to be. And that's all there is to it. Swapping out the charging handle on an AR-15. Once you know the tricks, easy to do. Thanks for watching. Neckbone out.